In this video we're going to be replacing the rear trailing arm bushings of a 1999 GS Acura Integra. Um, this is the part that we're going to be sticking in. I just got this off of Amazon um, for about 25 bucks. Um, and what, where this goes is in the rear trailing arm. Um, and you can't really see it here, but we'll get to getting this out. Um, there's a bushing in there uh, where the trailing arm pivots and the rubber in that. Uh, over the past 15 years it's kind of started to deteriorate and degrade away so we're going to replace it with some new ones uh, and hopefully that will offer some improvement over what we've got kind of got going on in here which is basically just a destroyed bushing. So the first thing you're going to want to do is take a few measurements um, and the first one we're going to do is find out the distance between this bushing and the trail arm how far it sticks out you're going to want to know that for when you place the new one in. So I measured it on this and it's sticking out almost exactly half an inch uh, and I went ahead and measured on both sides and it was about half an inch. So the next thing you're going to want to do is measure the rotation or the clocking of this bushing um, and so I'm not going to be able to show that but basically you're going to want to do that while it's down on the ground and what I'm going to do is just simply place a ruler across this and then take some white out and make some marks uh, where the straight line of the ruler is on the trailing arm itself. So we want to make sure that we get the orientation uh, the way that this is rotated exactly the same when we put in the new one. So here I've got the ruler pressed up against the bottom of that uh, bushing. It's touching that uh, straight flat part and so I'm just going to put a mark with white out along the trailing arm of the clocking so that we know how to orient this thing when we stick in the new one. So basically what that looks like is simply taking the ruler, pressing it up against this, and then marking with the whiteout that line that it goes across. So once we have that marked, we can go ahead and jack up the back of the car. Okay, so now that we've got the wheels uh, up in the air, the vehicle up on jack stands, we can go ahead and remove uh, the rear wheels, taking out these four lug nuts. So here we can see our bushing and clearly it has seen better days. Um, pretty cracked and just kind of worn both at the top and the bottom. So definitely needs replacing. So I've heard these are pretty tough to get out. So the first thing I'm gonna do is just kind of spray around the edges of it with some lubricant. So I've lubricated the bushing and now we basically have five uh, bolts that we need to take out. The first of which uh, is going to be the toe adjustment. So you want to make sure you mark this and get it back exactly how it is, um, otherwise you're going to change your alignment. So just make sure that you know exactly how to put it back. Okay, so I've got that bolt out and the next step will be to take out this one and this one. Those are the ones holding the bushing in. So now we've got that out so you can see the entire uh, bushing there. And the last two bolts we're going to have to take out are going to be these two right here, which basically are the uh, camber adjustment if you were to have an adjustable upper control arm. Um, so that's your upper control arm right there. Okay, so we've got those last two bolts out. Uh, so the upper control arm is now detached. And so now we basically have the entire uh, lower control arm, which is basically just hanging and it's just being held on by the lower control arm. So the trailing arm, we can now access this uh, bushing, which is what we're trying to extract here. So when we put the new bushing in, we want to make sure we put it back the exact same way. So as you can see, this lower part uh, is actually a little bit bigger than the upper part uh, that connects on the bushing. So you want to make sure when you put the new one in, you get the skinnier side up on top and then the fatter part down at the bottom. So this is the tool I'm going to be using to extract that bushing. Uh, basically it's going to wrap around the trailing arm and then you're just going to twist this in order to push the bushing through. Um, it's just a Honda Acura bushing extractor. I bought it on Amazon. So we're going to take the cup from the bushing extractor and simply place that over the bushing like so. And then you're going to take this bushing extractor 
which is asymmetrical, so you want to make sure you get this part up. Uh, we're going to put that over the trailing arm and place this on the bushing. And then we want to line it up so that we can extract it. Okay, so we've got the bushing extractor in place. Um, and now all we need to do is take a 14 millimeter socket, uh, place that on the end, and then just simply screw out the old bushing. Okay, so the bushing is now out, so I'm just going to go ahead and spray this uh, with some brake cleaner and just kind of clean it out with the rag. It's pretty dirty. So here we have the old bushing. It's actually completely broken up at the top. It's not even connected here anymore. Um, the bottom is still connected, but it's also pretty worn and graded out, so it definitely, definitely needed replacing, um, being that the top part is actually just broken completely. So next you're going to want to put that new bushing in, just kind of hand fit it into place um, and make sure you orient it the same way the last one was oriented. Uh, and then you can go ahead and hook up the tool and start pressing this in. So here you can see some kind of midway progress, uh, pressing the bushing in, not too much left, maybe just another quarter of an inch. Okay, so we've got the trailing arm bushing installed. All we need to do now is put everything back together. So we're just going to put all the bolts back. Um, the first ones, these are going to be torqued down to 29 pound-feet. Uh, the next ones, which we put in here, that's going to be 47 pound-feet. And then the final one uh, back in there is also going to be uh, 47 pound-feet. So to help me get these first two installed, um, I've just got a jack, which I'm using to pump up the uh, lower control arm there because it's kind of difficult to get this in place. So I'm just going to jack that up, and then I can put it right across from it. And there we have it, the new bushing is in place, so all we need to do is put our wheel back on. Uh, I believe the lug nuts are torqued at 80 pound-feet, and we're good to go. So there we have it, the two old bushings are out and we've got new ones in place. Um, it was definitely a good thing because both of them were broken completely across the top there. Um, maybe I can kind of show it. So completely torn up at the top, it's not even connected anymore. Um, so it can just kind of move in there pretty freely. So yeah, just a good thing that we got those replaced. So any of your questions or comments, feel free to leave them below and I'll leave a link uh, to some product links so in case you want to do this on your own, um, you can see what tools were used and what, what parts I bought.